I won't complain. Sounds like you need to. Speak life though, right? If I'm speaking negative, I'm creating negative. And if you're thinking it, it's the same difference. It begins with the thought. You know that. I do. So I'm going to repeat the question. How are you feeling? Many Sis. days like I'm failing. Many days like I'm flailing around in water that ain't even that deep. That's a deep statement. Still waters in the sun. You know, I know. Keep going. Having a thousand responsibilities is a job. Having a thousand responsibilities that are self-imposed is a decision. And sometimes choosing which thing should get top priority, no matter how well thought out the reason or justification, you can still derail everything else because when everything is a priority, seconds matter. Taking a second too long on this makes that late and so on. I get that. And then there's the in-between space of you're doing too much and I need to do this now, which is wild on its own. But then there's still the place where like your mom won't allow you to disconnect from the things, but these things infringe on other things. So it's like being on a hamster wheel because like whatever you're doing is getting done, which is great. But it also means something is falling by the wayside. Something is being neglected. Something is going undone. And stopping to do that means you're not doing this. So yeah, I just feel all over the place. I get that. So, so here's a question. Why do you feel like you have to do it all on your own? That's the thing. I never wanted to. Like, yo, it's crazy because I know how I got here and I still don't know how I got here. Are you where you want to be? Yes and no, but more no than yes. Okay. Why yes? I'm a creative. I'm creating regularly and consistently. And it's quality work. Like, nobody can tell me otherwise. I wanted to write scripts, I write scripts. I wanted to act, I act. I podcast. Like, I'm totally confident in the content that I put out because of how hard I am on myself. Yeah, tell me about it. You want to be associated with whackness? Absolutely not. Okay, then. So if you give me something that's subpar or I see something that can be improved at the last I minute... Get I don't always love it, especially when you have me learning completely new techniques at the most inopportune times. But I get it. So, yeah. I believe in the content itself and the quality of it. And I'm always learning, so I'm always improving. And I'm proud of that. So isn't that what matters? <laughs> Yo, it just feels like the never-ending story, though. But you're the one that keeps adding chapters. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't read me, sis. I'm saying, if this is how you feel, why would you even entertain old girl in her search for stardom? <laughs> yo, you crazy. You were coming for her neck. Because, yo, today wasn't the first time she brought it up. I already told her, go produce some guests. And stop worrying about screen time. So now she want to keep the fire burning and come confront you? Like, come on with that. 
See, I didn't know y'all has previously discussed this. Because it's immaterial. Like, we got mad work to do. So let's focus on what's in front of us currently. And that applies to you too. You have great ideas. Like, you're freaking brilliant. You're talented. You have the it factor. You didn't just make your own lane. You built a whole other damn highway. You're doing something you don't have a blueprint for. And you're doing it mainly on your own. That's incredible. But if you already feel and know you got too much on your plate, that you're not balancing well. And I think that's really the bigger issue is that you need help organizing to balance out what you've undertaken. Then you're not in position to take on more just yet. Okay, so I definitely wasn't thinking about giving her her own show because that would be crazy. But I was dancing with the idea of a new show. Okay, but what's the plan to situate the plate full you already have before you add another thing to your plate? I'll support you if you have a solid plan. But if you don't, then why even dance with the idea? You just said you already feel overwhelmed. So it's not a new show that requires development. It's more like a spinoff. Instead of having guests on the standing pod, do a separate show that's solely about guests and whatever we decide to talk about. Okay, why do you want to separate the two? It's a different dynamic than PPSAP. That's life coaching. That's counseling and advice. So you don't feel like your guests give counseling and advice? Well, they don't have to. Or at least I don't feel like they have to with a show formatted specifically for them. Like, let them tell their stories. Shine a light on them. Let's talk about whatever, but without trying to fit it into the PSA frame. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It's actually a great one. But are you going to have the shows running concurrently? Probably not. At least not initially. That'll give us time to really, like, flesh out the rollout, give her time to source and confirm guests, and give you time to finish the projects that you currently have. Girl, uh, the way you come up with ideas, I'll never be completely finished. That's not a terrible thing. I mean, that means you always have a job. Run me some checks, and I can get a little more excited about that. I'm working on it, beloved. Is that why you feel like you're not where you want to be? It's part of it. I'm not going to hold you. So what's the rest of it? It used to be feeling like I should be further but now it's somewhere between feeling like I should be further and feeling like I'm not moving fast enough. Let me let you in on a secret. You'll never be moving fast enough if you keep adding things on the second you hit a stride. You'll also never be moving fast enough to keep up with someone else that you're not supposed to be keeping pace with. Whoever is wherever now, kudos to them. You're where you are. You wanna be further? Keep going. You want to be further right this second? Why? What's there? And if you don't know for certain that the absolute best is there, why are you in such a hurry to get there? Because while you might not be moving at the speed of light, you are moving, and that counts. You're doing more than you were, accomplishing more than you were, reaching and teaching way more people than you realize. Like, chill out. Everything is coming right on time. Trust me. You sound like me when I'm talking to myself. Well, then you should listen to yourself because you be talking right. I'm going to keep that in mind. You better? I'm cool, friend. I'm just here. All right. I'm going to get out of here. You good for real? I'll give you my word. All right, sis, I'm gone. About to hit them streets. I'll see you, James. Boy. Yeah, I'm about to go see a man about a horse. I hope you're gonna take that bonnet off. You ain't your friend, young. I'm gonna take it off when I get where I'm going. Y'all stay coming for my attire. I'm just making sure, cause I know how you give it up. Whatever, yo, I'm out. Later on.